look like at different points in time between August 2010 to June of 2016. And um, amazingly, if you look at, well, can so, okay. If you look at August 2011, where we are, it's at 600,000. It's about right. It's about where we are right now. We are getting about, we are, we are enrolling um, in the, on the field, there's about 400 to 500,000 enrollments per day that's going on. Our system is able to process 600,000 others a day. Okay? That means, like I described, his fingerprints I have to match against my entire database. I have to take 600,000 of them and match against everybody in the system. If there's a million, well, we have more like 2 million, um, uh, whatever, two, almost 2 crores right now. That's 20 million right now. I have to take each person's biometrics and match it against 2 crores before I say this is unique and we can give an other to this person. So an enormous amount of processing is going on. We have put a lot of servers, uh, lo a lot of this architectural principles that I talked about on scalability is what is getting us these numbers. We are, plan we are, like our DG said, we are shooting for a million a day by October. And that's also publicly stated by the finance minister. So we are on course to processing one million others a day by October. Okay, and the second largest system after this that processes enrollments is the US visit program. And their peak is about 70,000 a day. Okay, so there's a huge difference between the kind of speeds that we have to generate to cover a billion people. Okay, very quickly on authentication, um, I think um, our DG mentioned this, but very quickly, let me say that you can, there, there is a whole uh, sort of rainbow of different authentication mechanisms that you could use. We don't offer one. The people like airports or PDS or NREG, they will choose the assurance levels. If you just use the other number and your name maybe, you get a low assurance level. Instead, if you use the number, and your biometric, you get a higher assurance level. If that's not sufficient for a banking purpose because there's a large uh, you know, financial transaction, you could say, I need the number, I need your biometric, as well as a one-time password I'll send to your, bio, your mobile phone, and you have to enter that as well. So you can construct different assurance levels based on your application need. Other is a platform that will allow for various different kinds of uh, authentication mechanisms you will have to put it together to say, this is my need, right? So that's the point I wanted to make. And on the response side, we just give a yes or a no. We do not give any data back about the residents to ensure that there is data privacy. So, so if you're going, oh, give us, send Aadhaar, I've sent the name, we're not gonna send back a photograph so that he can match because that would be a violation of privacy, right? It's just a yes or a no, whether it matched or did not match. Uh, I'll skip this, this is a pretty, uh, you know, technology, but there's a lot of detail out here about XML and so on. So basically, uh, these are slides from our uh, developer conference, so there's a, uh, it goes into quite a bit of detail. So it's about the XML packets and how uh, packets have to be formed by the authentication device uh, and the security and audit features that we have in the system and the different stakeholders who will play a part as the system, uh, as the data goes upstream to the UID. Finally, uh, I guess that's bell for me. Finally, uh, visibility and transparency. Uh, this is a project of the government of India, paid, uh, paid by the taxpayer money. So pretty much everything that we do is absolutely transparent. Everything is on our uh, websites. We've built three portals, interactive portals, the public portal, the partner portal for partners like enrolling agencies, registrars, and so on. And finally, the developer portal to encourage application developers like Mastec and others who will be building applications on the UID platform. So this is the public portal, of course a little dated, it shows 92 lakhs right now, we are more like uh, one point, um, you know, uh, almost two crores right now. That shows you uh, our enrollments in the various states. Uh, below it shows you a breakdown on, by age and gender, how we're doing on enrollments, and on the, right, uh, on the bottom right, which you do not see, you, you, will, uh, you can see enrollment trends. Um, oh. Okay, so that, that is, if you click down, you, you, you actually can drill down into districts and sub-district level and so on. And finally, these, this is our partner portal. This particular login is for an enrolling agency. They can log in and see how each of their operators are doing. They can look at their quality. We have a continuous improvement process. We have a BI backend, a business intelligence backend, that is continually checking how operators are doing, and they're rating each operator. 
Okay, so down to each operator, enrolling agencies can look and see how they are doing and, you know, improve their uh, training and so on and so forth. It also gives you some, you know, statistics on the number of enrollments per day per station and so on. And finally, the developer portal. This is to help developers build applications on top of Aadhaar so that they can be deployed towards service delivery. Thank you very much.